for, you know, here in Israel, you would usually go through a year of internship, which is, you know, a practice before in, in an actual law firm or the district attorney's office uh, before you can actually take the bar. And then, you know, people who are uh, who become lawyers have that year of experience. But for those that, you know, are either practicing in different jurisdictions or are moving from one uh, practice area to another, for, for someone who has over 40 years of experience in litigation, what will be your advice to, you know, a lawyer that has never set foot in court and, and is it trying to figure out if litigation is for him? I would say that certainly in the United States, I think most every law school now has what's called an internship program. Now it's voluntary and it's not required, but if, you, if you're in law school, let's say you're a second or third year law student, and you have an inkling that you want to be a litigator or you want to be a prosecutor or you want to be a public defender or you want to be a judge, you want to go clerk for a judge. Those are the types of things that the internship program allows you to do. So in the state of Florida, actually a third year law student who is, an, you know, who's taking an internship <laughs> with uh, through their, their course of study and you get course credits for it, then you have an opportunity to experience, but it's a law school experience, not a, an experience that you have a year before you can take the bar. I mean, you can take the Florida bar the day you get out of law school. <laughs> Basically, the, the second you have your degree, you sit for the next bar exam. So there's no waiting period. So, anybody who is still in law school and they offer these internship programs, it's the best thing in the world. I think my third year was the either the first or the second year after that internship program had been started. And I got assigned to, actually I had two assignments. I had one, first one was with a circuit court judge who was actually a judge in the probate division. And I clerked for him and wrote memorandums of law and reviewed evidence and all that kind of good stuff. And then uh, he actually got appointed to the uh, Court of Appeals. And so there wasn't a judicial clerkship intern, so they moved me to the state attorney's office in the misdemeanor division. And I got to try some misdemeanor traffic cases and you know other minor crimes. And I found that I actually did really, really enjoy that. So I wasn't afraid of taking those things on when I actually started to practice. Experience is very critical, but but listen, not everybody that gets out of law school gets offered a job. Well, what are you supposed to do, right? Go uh, cook hamburgers at Burger King? No, you know, you start uh, holding yourself out as a lawyer and anybody that needs a lawyer, come see me. And then you gotta figure it out from there. But man, you gotta prepare yourself and you gotta be willing to dive into the books a little bit. Uh, you need to be willing to have resources in the, in the form of other lawyers that you're friends with that might be more versed in a particular area of law. You've got to take advantage of your resources. You can't be afraid to ask questions. When you go to court, a lot of the judges most of the time, if you did something wrong, they'll tell you, you did that wrong, go fix it and come back. All right. So it's not, you know, the worst thing in the world. You're not going to get, you know, dashed by a judge right away, and they know, they understand that new lawyers that are just starting out in their practice aren't going to know how to dot their I's and cross their T's. Another thing that new lawyers can and should do is take advantage of the bar programs for small and sole practitioners. And there's so many resources, and for, you know, from technology to continuing legal education to you know, treatises and they're, you know, and they're always there to help you with ethical problems and ethical questions. And the Florida Bar in particular is very adept at trying to get their young lawyers. We actually have a young lawyers division of the Florida Bar. I was probably a member of that 30 years ago, <laughs> right? No, the senior division, but no, they have, they have a young lawyers division, which basically operates on its own and also offers all these resources for new practitioners. It wasn't like that really when I started out. I mean, these programs are all within probably the last 15, 20 years, but they're there to make it easier. And you just have to be willing to take the time to avail yourself of those resources. And, and, and that becomes invaluable.